Hey, howdy, howdy. Welcome back to the Hardcore Podcast. This is episode 87, and I'm your host, Christopher Norwood. And I'm your host, Robert Melton. Christopher Norwood. I sound like such a wiener. You are a wiener, dude. Freaking glizzy gobbler. Christopher Norwood. What's up? Hey, man. Hey, welcome back to the podcast. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. To our millions and millions of uh, followers and listeners. Subscribers, yeah, all of that. Yeah. Um, so, no surprise, I'm I'm sure y'all all guessed it, yeah. all million, millions um, of you. Depending uh, on the title and the thumbnail, yeah, you definitely yeah, we're probably gonna be guessed it. Talking uh, Elden Ring. If you've heard of it, I don't know if you have, it's kind of a niche game. It's pretty niche, no one's really playing it. Yeah. Dude, it should win game of the year, to be honest. Have I got some news for you, buddy? What? It won. No it's a winner, no. Yeah. It beat Ragnarok. No, yeah, that's impossible. I thought so too. <laughs> Crazy. Um, I so yeah, no. thought that was the winner of that year, twenty twenty two. I think it was twenty twenty two. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, we're talking uh, Elden Ring: Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC. Yes. Um, very small DLC. Yeah, I think a lot of people are pretty disappointed. I think we've had some people beat it in five hours, fourteen. So. Yeah. Not worth the forty dollar price tag. Yeah. Considering I've uh I think last episode or the one before we were talking about it and I was like, Yeah, I'd be happy with, you know, a dollar two dollars an hour. That's decent. Yeah, give me twenty hours worth. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, forty dollar DLC. Shoot, but I already got my money's worth then. Yeah. I've yeah. absolutely got my money's worth yeah, already. You've almost doubled my hours because I think after last night. I'm about 20 hours in. Yeah, and I've got around 35-ish at least. So 20, 20 hours in, I would say story-wise, I'm like halfway there, but probably a third of the hours because the bosses are definitely starting to ramp up. Yeah. To where sure. I need to look into another build. The Moon Veil has only taken me, but so far. So it's true. So, I mean, honestly, they probably have nerfed it since... You last played that build? Oh, yeah, because... And it's been a couple of years. Yeah, when I had beat Elden Ring, I was running Moonvale, and that was, like, I think the meta. Mm. Um, yeah, after they had nerfed the Horfrost stomp. Yeah. yeah, but we'll get more into this. But let's first run this intro. Yes. We've got some things to say today. Some serious things to say today. Got some stuff to critique. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe me more so than you. But um, All right. Before we get into the actual game, right, right. what have you been up to this week? Um, Been hanging out with Elaine. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um... Actually, I've been watching, um, we had made some breakfast like Friday or Saturday morning and we were just looking for something to like throw on just to watch while we were eating. Mm -hmm. And we put on the Critical Role uh, Campaign 3, the first episode. Oh, really? We started watching that and we were like in a trance, just kind of got stuck in that for like an hour. (laughs) So every morning I've kind of been putting that on. Oh, nice. So I finished the first episode, which is like four hours. And I started the uh, second episode of Campaign Three. Do you know this morning. if she's ever played D and D? Um, yeah, I think she's played D and D a couple times. That's dope. Yeah, I think her best friend's husband is their DM. Mm. I don't think they play super often, but I want to say she's played more than us. Mm. Yeah, and she has friends that play pretty regularly. That's cool. So, for if it ever came up, I'm sure she would be very open to play. Oh yeah. And I really want to play, especially with watching uh, those campaigns and just seeing masters at work. Yeah, they're so good. You make it so entertaining. Master at work, pretty much, and all of them are just so good. I can't remember what campaign it was that I'd watched, but I definitely didn't finish it because they're fucking long as hell. The ones they do in Critical Role, unless it's like a one shot, Mm -hmm. which I don't know how many of those they've done. But uh, yeah, I've definitely watched a good bit of episodes on them. Yeah, you gotta yeah. fucking follow that shit. 
Yeah, I've mainly like listened. I've listened to hours of their stuff. Yeah, just I usually random. Listen. But watching it is just that much more entertaining. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. I, it'll come up on my like TikTok or Instagram feeds, and I'll like watch like the really cool moments from the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's always entertaining. Because early on, you know, like you see or you hear Matt Mercer at work, and you're like, "Oh man, this guy's just so good," which he is. Mm-hmm. But then, like everyone else is like. I don't know if I'd say just as good, just as knowledgeable, but they're all really talented. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're like voice actors and actresses, actors. Exactly. Yeah. Um, But some of that, I, um, so Elaine is a big, uh, much like your girlfriend, she's a big Lord of the Rings fan. Mm -hmm. And I haven't seen those movies in so long. And this was an afterthought that we were going to go through them. Um, well, an afterthought before, because she has the movies. So yeah. I ended up renting uh, Fellowship of the Ring on Amazon. You rented it? I rented it, just because we didn't have it. So Max. Uh, well, are. we couldn't figure out how to, like, I don't have Max. She has Max, but she uses her friend's account. So oh, we, I see. We weren't see. able to get on. That's fair, yeah. And it was just like a few bucks. And every night that we decided to start watching it, um, it's a long movie. I was just not not bored, but I was just getting really tired. Mm-hmm. So I would like kind of like nod off and on. That's me literally watching anything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, again, I mean, same. But like it wasn't because it was boring or I was bored. Yeah, yeah. No, so, dude, I'll go to the movie theater and still do that shit. And it's like blaring music and yeah. it's crazy. Like That's happened to me a couple times. Like horror movies too. Like fucking something crazy will happen. I would just be. Right. And come to. So... The first night, I was kind of nodding off. Um, second night, got you know, got a little bit further each time, nodding off. And then the one night where I was actually like awake, like really into it, it just fucking cut off because we only had it for no. 48 hours. Yeah, and I don't uh. want to just like rent it again, you know, because she has the movies. So next time she comes over or I go over, we'll just, you know, watch the Blu-ray that she has. Damn. But yeah, no, still haven't finished Fellowship of the Ring, which, you know, I watched it years ago, but like this time I'm like actually really getting into it. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, But we attempted that. Um, Just hung out a little bit. We actually bought a box of Digimon cards. Mm. Yeah, we went to the card shop, got some Digimon cards, and that was really fun to go through. Um, Been playing Elden Ring. And uh, hanging out with Remus, uh, that's about it. After today's episode, um, I'll be going to the hospital because my nephew is going to be born today. No so way. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, my, my younger brother, he is having a son, Jax, with two X's, which is pretty badass. Dude. I don't know if it's just Jax or Jackson, like J-A-X-X-O-N, yeah. which would also be really cool. Are they fans of Sons of Anarchy? <laughs> uh, that's the thing. I don't think so. But that's where my mind goes. That's is Jax. Jax Taylor. Fuck yeah. Redwood original. Oh yeah. Um but yeah, no, it's been uh it's been a really good week. Unfortunately I have to go back to work tomorrow. Oh yeah. God. By the time you're hearing this, I've already gone back to the uh graveyard shifts. Yeah, Actually by the time you're hearing this, I probably have one more graveyard shift, so not too bad. Yeah. Um Unless you die first. I but. gotta be honest, I'm really I don't care what you've been up to, so let's just get right into Elden Ring. No, I'm kidding. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> what have you been up to? I'm kidding, dude. It's a joke. It's well, a fucking joke. Here's the thing. <laughs> just Elden Ring. Literally. <laughs> That's, I haven't seen my girlfriend in days, man. <laughs> oh, shit. I've been in the shadow la- land. Shadow realm? Yeah. <laughs> I've been in the scadu- Skibbity? Uh, Skibbity tree? Skibbity toilet riz tree. Mm, okay. Land. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Ohio. Hell yeah. Facts. Hell yeah. On oh God. On oh God. Um, oh God. But yeah, that's pretty much all I've been doing. Uh, I mean, I've caught up on House of the Dragon. I've caught up on The Boys. The Boys. That's um, right. The Boys. Oh, shit. Tonight, The Bear season three, I believe, premiere oh, comes out. I forgot what. It took me a second to even figure out what day it is. I'm like, yeah. I want to say it's Sunday? today, the 26th. It's Wednesday. Today's the 26th um, while we're recording this, obviously, but... Okay, that's cool, because I know I have Hulu. That's definitely one of the things I pay for, so... True. I can definitely watch that. I'll check that out. Yeah. Maybe um, tonight. Pretty stoked on that. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, literally, aside from that, Elden Ring. 
Elden Ring. <laughs> so with that being said, let's get into it. Let's go. Transition music now. And oh, no. we have not beat the DLC. You are um, a good bit further than I am. Yeah, but there's um, quite a few bosses that I know of that I have not even yeah. seen or know where they're at. So, And I don't think anyone's talking about this and not spoiling shit. So with that being said, we will be spoiling yeah, some stuff. Yeah, if you're clicking on this and not expecting spoilers, I mean... To some extent, because we're not really getting into the lore. Yeah, yeah, no, no yeah. lore here. Um, obviously, we're going to be naming bosses and maybe areas, uh, if we can remember the names. But <laughs> <laughs> no, um, we can visualize the map, and I can tell Literally, you north, yeah. west, northeast. Yeah, um, I know there's some weird names. The uh, what's it got? The Cerulean Plains, Cerulean, Cerulean Low? Coast, Coast. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. And I half know that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, where do we start? Um, where do we start? Okay. Uh, well, previously mm -hmm. we knew that you had to defeat a couple bosses before you even had access to the DLC. Uh, dude, I was dreading the fuck out of that. Was like, it really as to, bad? To though? the point though, that I was like, I'm just, I'm just not going to play this DLC anytime soon. Dude, were you? Okay. So but you were, you bullied me. Dude, come on! You called it, me a pussy a few times. You gotta say it's worth it, though. No, nah, it's been it's been worth it. It's been worth it. Yeah. Um, I so far it, it's been worth it, but just having the somewhat bias of like seeing all the reviews, I definitely don't think this is like ten out of ten shit. Just my personal opinion. Um, I don't know but exactly what fun. a ten out of ten DLC would be. Well, I mean, I'm not even. Um, scoring it just based off it being like a DLC. I'm just almost looking at this as like just, you know, more of the game yeah. or like its own thing. That's how I kind of view it too. Um, it doesn't feel like DLC at all because it's fucking massive. So when I, fir when I picked Elden Ring back up, um, I was just praying that, and I don't know why I was thinking this because I don't even think it's like possible, but I was thinking that, all right, if I go and load the game, I would have my... My new game plus, because that's where it was yeah. uh, when I stopped playing Elden Ring a couple years ago. I remember I started new game plus, but I was thinking I would have my new game plus save and then like the end game save. Mm -hmm. But when I had started, booted it up, it was just the new game plus. Even when like, you click fuck. load? Yeah. yeah. It was just that one file. So wow. I don't know if it was possible and then I just, for whatever reason, overwritten it. But um, either way, I loaded it up just to see where I was. And I was in Stormvale, Stormvale. Castle. <laughs> yes, Stormvale. Um, so I immediately left there and was like, all right, for whatever reason, I was more so dreading Radon, mm -hmm. um, which, hindsight, it should have been vice versa. Yeah, with dreading that's what Vogue. I thought when you were saying that. I was like, that's insane. Um, so with Radon, I had to like get the two medallion pieces to like open up the like Radon event. Oh, right. Um, like the ceremony. So that was pretty quick. Uh, went ahead and got that. Went to Radon. And I beat him second try. Damn. Um, Even with, like, somebody watching? What do you mean? Wasn't Elaine watching you? Um. Yeah. No, well, she was working. She was in here. Um. She was working from home. Oh, okay. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you talking about, like, the pressure of someone yeah, watching yeah. me? Uh, Performer's anxiety. Well, the first Don't time I died, I was trying to figure things out because I remember he, like, early on will shoot the arrows at you. Yeah, yeah. But I thought, for whatever reason, like, right when you start, everybody at the ceremony would come and run with you. No, I don't you know why I was picturing one that. One by one. So I, I found that out towards the end of the, the first run because I died right there, right as I, like, spawned them in. So the second time, I had spawned everybody in. And I was, like, running around, well, riding around on tour, and by the time I got to him, he was already, like, halfway down. Mm. So I was like, oh, man, they're fucking him up. So I went in there and just kind of gave him some hits, and, yeah, he was done. Star scored. So I was done. like, fuck, yeah, cool. Um, so then I looked into how to get to Moog, and there was two options. Like, I had to travel to, like, where the giants are, but I had to, like, go to the capital and beat the boss there, and that just sounded really, like, dreadful. So I was like, what's the other option? The other option was completing um, the White Mask Vars quest line. Mm. So I had to beat 
I think it's Godric. Whoever the boss at Stormvale is. Yeah, that's Godric. Yeah, Godric. And I was pretty much right there. So I went and did that, did the uh, the rest of Vars Quest, and you know that only took about an hour, hour and a half. Then I got to Moog's area. But when I got to Moog, he gave me some trouble. He was fucking me up. Damn. Because the first time when I was originally going through Elden Ring, you could still cheese Moog to mm-hmm. where you can get into that fight, but and he's just kind of frozen like there. Not, yeah. And um, I even looked. I was like... How can I cheese it? Cheese him? Is there any like glitches still like not patched or yeah. anything? I remember that, doing that that cheese just for his runes because he was like one of the highest runes in the game. Dude, um, so it took me, I would say like twenty to thirty attempts, Damn. but I eventually got him. And one of the talismans I had. And you did a hard mode because you didn't bind him. You didn't have like the resistances. I may have, like, changed my armor a little bit for a yeah. little bit of resistance. But, yeah, I mean, I was pretty much going in hard mode. Fucking raw dogging. Raw dogging. Uh, but I had that talisman that gives you extra runes or more runes. Mm-hmm. And when I beat him, yeah, he gave me over a million. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I think originally it's like 800,000. Yeah. But, yeah, no, that was, like, at least four level ups. Because um, when I started, I was like level 170-something. I think I'm at level like 191 at this point. Damn. But, yeah, um, just yeah. Just 180 last night. After I had uh, beat him, um, I was already playing for like a few hours. And I was going to cut it off, but I was like, eh, let me fucking download and just see what this is about. So I played like an hour just exploring the uh, the Shadowland. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, no, that was the process. Um, It was... Kind of a pain in the ass, but yeah, like you said, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. Just um, Moog did give me some issues. So in when you first started the DLC, um, was your first encounter, like your first boss encounter, the solitude dude? Mm-hmm. Okay. So that, right when you go out, you go to the left. Yeah. He's right there yeah, pretty in much. In the mausoleum thing. Yeah, that's exactly the path that I took. Um, yeah, and a lot of people struggled with that apparently. Well, I felt like a badass because I remember Colton sending me a video. And I can't yeah. remember verbatim what he was saying, but he was like, yeah, I had to like put this weapon on so I could like stun lock him when he attempted this move. At so, level 400. Yeah, well, that, that made me think. I was like, oh, shit, like this guy's going to be tough. And I think I got him like the third or fourth try, and I was yeah. like, I'm a badass. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, ain't, this shit ain't nothing to me, man. <laughs> um, but, uh, oh, fuck Dracula flow. Yeah. Um, but which yeah no he wasn't bad and a few of the other bosses in that kind of early area aren't too bad yeah um, but I have been rocking his armor um, pretty much till now it's actually fucking really good armor like his shit and is it looks good. sick his shit yeah. is really good uh, but yeah no that was the first boss and then I kind of started exploring that like cerulean coast area that's insane um. And beat a couple like sub bosses, mini bosses there, and then finally made my way towards the castle because I was like, "All right, let me get started on some like, you know, main quest shit." Yeah. So, uh, what was uh, what route did you take? Did you fight him first? Um, yeah, I fought him first. Uh, I can't did it remember. Take three ungabungas. Maybe four. Four ungabungas. Yeah, it wasn't okay, hard to kill off. It was first try. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, after I'd done that, I was just like, okay, cool. Beat him. Got an armor set. This is the introduction, maybe. Mm-hmm. And then I seen online, like, later that that was supposedly hard. And I was like, oh. Well, maybe for some people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not an Elden God. But, you know, here we are. Mm-hmm. Uh, but after that, I think I went straight to that area where the, the dancing lion is. Okay, so that... I don't even remember what that first castle is called. Yeah, but yeah. I can't remember. Enos? Ennis? No, that one's or the one that, that the, Rolana uh, is at. That's Ensis. right. Yeah, yeah. Castle Ensis. Ensis. Um, but I will say, now that we're at that castle, I I loved that area. Mm-hmm. That area was a lot of fun to explore and go through. Uh, Rolana's? No, no, no. The, uh, the other castle with the uh, lion. Oh, dancer. okay. Yeah. Which design-wise... Probably the coolest boss so far that I've The dancing one? Yeah. It's just two guys in a suit. I think it's like multiple people. Oh. But it's like kind of like the Chinese dragon thing. Yeah. No, it's definitely really cool. Yeah. Because I just remember the trailers. 
for yeah. uh, Shadow of the Earth Tree. Yeah, that of thing course. looks scary as fuck in the trailer. Of course, they're hyping like, hey, Mesmer is the big baddie. Mm-hmm. The big baddie. Just wait. Um, but it showed off that line. And I was like, oh, man, he's yeah. so creepy. And like, this is so like ominous looking. And, um, but yeah, no, just getting to him. Uh, it, it was a good fight. It wasn't that hard, but like, it was a good fight. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, yeah I thought it'd be a lot harder than it was. Right, um, right. As like the first, like, I mean, it honestly depends on what path you take, but I want to say that that's one of the first places you're supposed to go. I think it's de- so. These games don't like do the best purposefully yeah, with like yeah. showing you which route to take, but when you get towards pretty much where you start, like a hundred feet or however many feet away you see that that group standing there the npcs that you can talk to Mm -hmm. you see that like fire golem totem thing in the background yeah but when you're right there talking to them there's this giant fucking archway that leads to the castle so it's like this is probably where you're supposed to go you should go here yeah (laughs) probably need to go here so at that point it is a little obvious that's a uh, miyazaki hint right there yeah but it's funny because hitting back on like it doesn't do the best job purposefully of telling you like where to go. And then you sent me that map that kind of gives you the numbers of the routes to mm-hmm. take. Like I would have never figured that shit out. Yeah, if you it's don't like here know. first, here, then here, and it was numbered one, two, three, sixteen, you know. Yeah. I would have never taken that route. So yeah. I guess it urges you just to like, hey, just fucking explore, man. Yeah, if you don't figure know, it out. Um Dark Souls or just the dark what do they call it? The Souls like Souls like genre Souls born especially the hero. FromSoft games. Yeah. Um, they're very notorious for not telling you shit. Literally, just um, you'll not maybe hold it in your at hand. the very beginning of the game get prompts on like how to th- use your weapon. Press R two, press R one, yeah, whatever it may be. But other than that, you have to v- pay very close attention to dialogue with NPCs. Exhaust their dialogue because once you're done talking to them once, that's not it. You have to talk to them again. So, um, good segue. <clears throat> that brings me to yeah, I know. just an annoyance. So, <laughs> there's some things that when playing these games, like now I, I know, I know now, exhaust dialogue. It's rule one, <laughs> exhaust dialogue. But when you take a step back, it's like, why? Why? Uh, like there was one thing where you talk to someone and it cuts off, and then you talk to them again. It's literally just like, Another, just one sentence, then it's like, oh, yeah, by the way, here, take this. Mm-hmm. And they give you an item. It's like, why didn't you just give me that last sentence the first time I talked to you and then followed, you know, give me th- gave me that item? No, no. I just don't get it. Like, yeah. why? I don't why? Know. They're fucking, they said, <laughs> Miyazaki said, okay, do this just to troll them. I mean, If they don't much. talk to them, they're not getting it. Like, I do have but, the... Yeah, uh, it is definitely an annoyance. I don't get that. Yeah, I have that why question with a lot of things. Why is this game so hard? <laughs> but like, that's one thing I I just don't understand. Like, what was the um, the point of that? I do know you that will miss out on so much if you just don't keep talking to people. Yeah, I know. In certain circumstances, like you'll have to go to and from certain NPCs, which I get that. Like, Again, you say you have to talk to uh, what is his name? Blave, Blythe, Blythe. Yeah, Blythe. Blah. So you have to talk to him, and then you got to go on another NPC and talk to them, and then go back to him. Yeah. I wonder if there's like certain dialogues that if you keep just exhausting it, if it'll pass on something, which would still be really fucking dumb because how would you know aside from looking something up like that? Yeah, and that's another annoyance I have. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately. So. I would understand if this game, like, it would be so cool if, like, when you buy these games, even if you're buying it for the PC, it's an extra 10 to 15 $20 because when you buy it, it comes with, like, a strategy guide or something. Right. Because this these games are made to be played with some type of guide. Yeah, or else you're just... Literally just going around killing bosses, not really know what's going on. Because um, skipping ahead a little bit, that whole Saint Trina thing, mm-hmm. it's like, where in the game do you even hint yeah. that you need to talk to this person, die four times, go here, talk to this person, bring them here, talk to them, die four more times, fight them, go back here, talk to them. All right, 
you got your item. Yeah. Like if if it was like at least hinted at or like hey you just had to find the right NPC to talk to and they would have kind of alluded to you doing this or having to do this, I would get it. But like there's no hint whatsoever. Yeah, no, none at all. So you have to and I mean I'm sure you know I'm this way like I hate having to do that. Like I'll ask you guys questions and I've done it before, well, but that's I because hate. we've already looked it up. <laughs> I know exactly because I'm like, uh, you know, it's I, I feel like it's all maybe like a pride thing, like it's a little fair, like hey, I'll ask them versus looking it up. Mm-hmm. But I just hate having to look something up. Yeah, no, like it's that. Quite annoying. Yeah, it's I don't know. For me, it just takes me out of it, like yeah. immersion wise. Yeah, no, no, I agree, and I'm sure there will be people in here like, oh, how could you not figure that out? Did you not do this and this and? Get this dialogue like no yeah. motherfucker because I'm doing this. How would I know to go over here first and do that and blah? And, and let me go ahead and preface with I'm sure you won't even see this part of it, but like I'm the biggest casual when it comes to these games. <laughs> I get it. Get good. Shut the fuck up. I get it. He's a casual, but, but he's beaten Bloodborne uh, and Elden Ring <laughs> with help. <laughs> but yes, I have. And again, there's times where I do look it up. It's just. Ugh. I have that pool. I don't want to. Yeah. Uh, no, I agree. You pretty much have to. Or it's, you will uh, miss out on like the best shit. Yeah. It is uh, an annoyance, but I don't know. Uh, the way the game's designed, it's like forcing you to rely on the community because nothing is ever put out there. Like everything that's on like Fextra and the wiki and all that is just community shit. Like people are uploading mm-hmm. that. And like the summon signs, or not the summon signs, but the uh, the white signs that you come across, like yeah. hidden path here. A lot of it's trolling, which is funny, but because I'll hit every fucking like hidden path here wall <laughs> every time. Right. Liar ahead. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, but like some of them does help you. Like the one with St. Trina, it said um, trio ahead, therefore try death. Mm-hmm. Which made sense, but mm-hmm. I actually need to die four times. I guess there wasn't like quad ahead. Right. So right. trio was only uh, naming available. It'd be nice if you were able to actually type a message. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Obviously, there's going to be profanity filters and all that dumb shit included. But um, at the same time, you know, we're fighting fucking disgusting, vile creatures in this game with death and all that shit. So who cares if somebody writes cock on a message or something like that? Right, like it's it's a mature game. Yes, exactly. Yeah, uh, but yeah, that is a slight gripe I have that you do have to rely on the community, and these people have to figure it out first, and then they're able to give you this information if they even wish to, you know. Yeah, and you had told me that I don't know if you had quoted that it was Miyazaki, but he had said that p- people there's still stuff that hasn't been discovered in like the base game. Yeah, just because I guess. That's just the way they created it. Just a bunch mm-hmm. of these like random things you have to do that you wouldn't think to do. Yeah. Like, like hey, you uh, talk to this person, they killed you just through the dialogue or you drink in their poison or whatever, but yeah. do it four times. See what happens. Here's an example. Um, Matir, the uh, godmother of the hand or whatever the fuck. Yeah. That mother boss that fingers. I fought last night. Yeah. Mother of fingers. Yeah. Uh, finger butthole. Yeah. Mm-hmm her but in order to get to this boss you were saying something about last night you were asking you were like is there a, like a an instrument or of some sort that mm-hmm. you can use mm-hmm. and uh there is but when you read the messages at that thing that area you go to mm-hmm. in the center yeah the only information you're given it's not even in the game maybe there's somewhere in the game that would tell you but it's the community. They they'll put down a white sign and it says, um, "Seek church north." So you go north in that area. It's there's nothing there. You have to go north a fair part of the map, like quite a bit. Yeah. And you say, like, how the fuck are you supposed to know that? Well, I was there, and when I'd asked you guys that, the only messages I seen were if if that was a message, I missed that one. I seen like try music. Yeah, I mean that you know? too. Um, so I asked about, like, is there an instrument? And then Colton went on this rant of, like, oh, you got to do this. You got to go here. I'll send it to you. And I'm like, don't even. <laughs> like, don't. I, I'll, yeah. I don't feel like doing this right now. Yeah. So I actually looked that quest line up. I didn't even realize it was, like, the same one that he did. 
Um, but I looked it up and you have to go to that church and you have to, um, go back, ring the bell. And apparently it opens up, um, another area Mm -hmm. or you get another map to another area. It has like the same similar thing. So that I understand it's like a continuation, but you have to figure it out up to that point. And then when you get to that point, um, there's like certain dialogue. You got to talk to two NPCs within that cathedral. And then (laughs) you go back you have to like you have to rest at a grace and then go back to talk to him and he's he's not there anymore. Like how are you supposed to know that? And then um I'm getting frustrated just like you listening. Go to that <laughs> throne that he's sitting on and it says examine and then it opens up a passageway and you're just like how would I ever have known this? Yeah, and look, I, this isn't like something new to FromSoft games. Like <laughs> I get not. that. But I feel like, like I'm definitely not trying to like, you know, get shit on and shit no, on I this game. I fucking love this game, by the way. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I do. I don't even know if I, I, I'm enjoying the DLC. I don't know if I would say I'm loving it. But I feel like if any other game was to do this, people would shit on it for poor game design. Probably, yeah. And I just am like, I'm, I'm at least able to take a step back and be like, 10 out of 10? Really? Yeah. I like, think before... This isn't the best... You know, these games are known for their lore and story. It's like, if you would have included just, like, hints somewhere on how to, like, do these things, it would have been that much better. Yeah. But we have to, like, dig and dig and spend an extra 50 hours just to do everything to piece this together. But if you would have just given us that story, it would have been that much better. Mm-hmm. There's no way it would have been worse. Yeah. So at that point, I'm able to take that step back and be like, I feel like it's kind of poor game design. But again, I know they've been doing this from the beginning. Yeah, and it's kind of, there's, I don't know, yeah. I think there's definitely a better way to do it Um, because there's a lot of consequences. Like some people, they'll just straight up kill a random NPC for no reason, and that leads you to breaking quest lines and all that type of shit. Yeah, but I mean, in that regard, you could still tell a better story or tell the story better, or give you more information on how to do a quest, like anything. You that, know? That's why I was prefacing with, if like every copy of this game came with like a digital guide or something, yeah. or just like almost like a lore book, just to like, oh, you missed that, but you didn't read that book that we had given you. Mm-hmm. Like the information was there, we yeah. gave it to you, we provided it. Like, that would have been cool. Yeah, and by the way, that because um, you had asked me how do you kill the, like, the furnace giants. Yeah. Um, there is a cook, or not a cookbook, but there's like a piece of paper that you find somewhere, and it tells you actually how to do it. Yeah, something like that. Perfect yeah. example. Like, you wouldn't know until you came across yeah. it, which makes sense, but. And again, maybe for some of these complaints, there are NPCs I haven't spoke with or things I haven't found, but I'm almost willing to bet there is nothing in the game that tells you about the St. Trina thing, for example. Probably not. There's nothing that's like, hey, drink upon it quad times. <laughs> 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 then seek out this person. Yeah. And then drink upon it quad more times. <laughs> and then you must <laughs> defeat the second hardest boss in the game. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Um. <laughs> anyway, uh, that was us shitting on just the storytelling. Yeah. In, I feel in, like a, in a sort. Uh, the storytelling, I think, is actually pretty cool. Because you do have to piece a lot of shit together. I um, I like the piecing together thing. I just don't like the way that the they kind of make you do it. The yeah. way the information is given yeah. or how to get the information. Yeah. Like, for example, in that first castle area with the, the lion dancer, there's this key that you can find that lets you go into this one room and you talk to this crone lady there and... I don't even remember what she says, or she just doesn't talk to you. But there's like a replica, like a lion head oh, sitting yeah. on the side. And yeah. that's like, okay, that's kind of a hint. Let me put the lion head on, because once you beat the boss, you get like that helmet. And then when you put the helmet on, there's more dialogue, and she gives you an item. Like, yeah. that's cool. That is like, cool. I like that. Like, that's like a hint. Yeah. Um, it's also Even, a hint, but also the way I found out is because I read a white message that said "try head." <laughs> I mean, yes. Um, but well, I—it's I, not like I discovered that and like pieced that together on my own. Mm-hmm. 
Mikey was telling me about it. He was like, hey, I'm not going to say what you have to do, but there's a hint in the room. Uh, so I seen the head, and I was like, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, even that gives you at least a little bit of information. Yeah, that's... I'm not asking for much, just a yeah. little bit. Um. So what do you like about the game? <laughs> Not the um, it, I like the first half just because <laughs> it felt more fair. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are uh, quite upset about the difficulty in this. Um, and again, at this point, I I admit that I do need to uh, get good. I need um, to mess with my build. But there have been some what I think is pretty unfair. And I know they've done this in the FromSoft games, but one example that I've never thought was, like, fair uh, boss combat-wise is, like, when the boss is, like, going to, like, swing, and then their trajectory changes because you rolled. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. Like, shit like that, you can't argue that that's fair. Um, you know, and there's there's just different things like that. Um, there's some combos uh, that are just relentless. There's just... With these bosses, I find that the windows for hitting... And for healing are just getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Yeah. And I feel like that's kind of what FromSoft games are known for. These bosses that are like fair and like challenging but still fun. I'm just finding that I'm losing a little bit of the fun factor mm. with these bosses. I think, yeah, I think that's fair to say. Yeah. They've definitely I mean, unless I am... But the thing is like get good. All right, well, anyone can, like, look up a meta build and fucking go respec and find these weapons and, like, level it up and shit. Yeah. But, like, I shouldn't, like, have to do that to, like, enjoy these and, yeah. like, make it more of a fair fight. Yeah. No, I agree. I think the way they balance the weapons is kind of strange because obviously some things are, like, weak to, like, bleed or frost or fire or whatever it may be, but... At some point, I think with a maxed weapon, you should be able to deal about the same amount of damage with all of them, you know? Right, right. Because I want to play with variety, but I don't want to give up on, you know, my strength, like what I can do damage with, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, absolutely. So, now I just play Oonga Boonga, and I just bonk them all aside the head, you know? Yeah, dude. Um, <laughs> There was one... Putrescent Knight. He was giving me such a hard fucking time. Apparently, I mean, according to IGN, the fourth hardest boss in the game. Which is kind of nice to hear. Um, even though I didn't like beat him by myself, um, I did get him to that. You know, we've all had those moments where you get the boss to the one HP, but he kills you. Mm-hmm. Um, but I it's had built spent, into the game code. Sometimes it really does feel like it. Yeah, dude. Once you like hit that button to like drink some. Not Estus, but drink the Estus. Um, I feel like something in the game code, the the enemies just like rush towards you. Oh, That's quite That's when they're like, yeah. ah. Yeah. I'm sensing it. He's lifting his hand, not for his sword. What's my fastest move? I know. I can just uh, hear the blood stain. But, um, oh, I was hitting on the Oonga Boonga. Just because that boss was giving me, I had spent hours, hours on that boss. And I think you beat him in under 20 tries uh, it was like 10 to 15 yeah or so. 10 to 15 yeah at least um but i mean if you had the power up powered up like buffed hits i think in six hits you like had him down yeah um so i had to summon robert to help me out with that one um but um i don't know where i was going with that i guess the power of the unga boonga that you're just fucking like it's lethal killing man. these bosses in under 10 hits it's fucking lethal um, but would you say that he was difficult? Like, I know. Uh, honestly, you know, God, compared to Mesmer, no. Well, I will say, I Mesmer was close. so fucking annoying, man. He's just, um, I will say, putrescent knight. Like, once you fight him a few times, um, his timing is a little weird, but you can, like, kind of predict it. I felt like, like... I can roll through all his shit. Yeah. Like, I can dodge everything. It's just the build I had, it was taking so long, and I would slip up here and there. Yeah, and he just hits me. so fucking hard. That's yeah. the thing about him. But, but yeah, Mesmer, I did find his, like... I felt him really easy to read, yeah. Yeah. But Mesmer, hard to read, and just... That's a, a good example of a boss that just... 
isn't giving you like openings. I'm going to be honest. Probably the worst part about that fight was so with the uh, the colossal hammers that I use, mm-hmm. the uh, giant crusher, which is the uh, like stone one. Okay, it's above my head, so it blocks a lot of what I can see. And Mesmer was like the perfect size to where I could not see what he was about to do. Uh, so I'd have to be shit. like far far away enough to see what was coming. Mm-hmm. And if I wasn't, then it would just be like a fucking stab, stab, and just fucking really annoying shit. And that's nutty because even with like... And that, it have to be close to hit it. That's the thing. And even with that distance where you can see him, his reach is unreal. Dude, it's f- he can literally hit you across halfway across that area that you get and it's fast and it's multiple thrusts coming yeah. your way and he'll have he has like a fucking eight hit combo yeah so you have to fucking roll and roll and roll and um he, at any time during the match he will use a fucking one hitter quitter move yeah um which he would use that on me within like the first 10 seconds a few times i'm like fuck yeah it took me like probably close to Two and a half hours or so to beat that motherfucker. Three hours, maybe. Oh, really? It was oh, a I long didn't know time. That. Yeah, damn. It was a long time. But um, yeah, the times and that, that was just fucking fight after fight after fight after fight. Yeah, it was yeah. fucking annoying. By the point that I reached him, I was kind of dwindling down in my patience. So, like, I tried a few times, but I had to like go somewhere else, do something else. Yeah. Um, in my opinion, and I've played Dark Souls one, three, um, uh, I've. You know, I played a little bit of Bloodborne. Um, Elden Ring. A little bit of Sekiro. A little bit of Sekiro. This is the hardest. Mesmer was the hardest boss for me in all of those games. Oh, shit. Damn. Like, even Nameless King, I fucked up compared to him. Yeah, well, That's I That's a never, hard, hard fucking boss. I hear um, very intimidating things about Nameless King. Um, was that three? Yeah, that was, was Dark that Souls one? 3. Yeah, no, I never progressed far enough to to get to that. I think I got like halfway through three. Um, but yeah, Mesmer's hard as fuck. Yeah. And so unless you have, uh, unless you're level 450 with max vigor and um, <laughs> a fucking cheese build like Colton, then it's yeah. going to be a hard one. But like that's a fight where, again, I would argue... I don't even know if I would say, like, unfair. But it's just not... Like, did anyone beat him and and think, like, whoa, that was fun? Mm. Oh, man. I don't know. It is a cool fight. I'll give him that. Oh, dude, he's awesome. But it's... I don't know if it's a fun fight, for sure. Yeah, like, I just... I don't know. Very fucking annoying. Again, that, that first castle area, I loved, like, the design of it. I loved um, like the balance of like the weak enemies to difficult enemies, and then at the end, you not the end, but you know midway, you you get to that lion, and it's like oh, okay, boss fight. He's not the hardest, but like it's, there's a good balance of difficulty here. Mm-hmm. I loved that area. I guess it made sense that that area is pretty early. Yeah. Um, we gotta butter you up before they fucking stuff you. But even what is it called, Shadow Keep? Oh my yeah. gosh, just getting through there pain in the ass like um there's those i'm gonna call them the red elite, knights. elite mesmer night guards <laughs> yeah you know but the red mesmer knights. clones yeah um they look awesome and like they aren't too bad but one of them you know you do you, you make the wrong move i guess you can say this for any enemy but you make the wrong move they're fucking you oh, yeah. you're fucked colton died to those more times than he died to mesmer oh did he <laughs> yeah but the thing is you you fight one, you're like, okay, sick. You fight two, and then you get to a point where there's literally like 20 of them. Yeah. Just each floor, there's at least like four of them. And it's like, fuck. I got to a point where I was just fucking running through them because mm-hmm. I was like, there's no way. There's no way. Yeah, I agree. Those are definitely one of the most annoying. Yeah. Um, but when I have to do that, I guess the point I'm trying to make, it's just uh, like those points, that is, it's just not fun to me. Yeah, you need a better build for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can take yeah. them all out in, I think, three hits. Dude, dude, hold on. Three hits? It takes you three hits? Well, I it's you'd... there's like a sliver at the, after uh, the second hit, so I have to do a third. You got to breathe on them. Yeah. 
Unless I buff up first, then it's two. But uh, even going for that second hit is fucking rolling the dice. Because if they stagger me, then I'm dead. Oh, especially the ones with like the two daggers that yeah. are doing magic. Like you Dude, were watching me at one point, awful. and I was battling one for longer than I needed to, just because I was just waiting for an opening. It's like a field and boss. And there was no <laughs> opening. Like, he was, like, far away, and he would, like, kind of, you know, play in that game of, like, who's going to attack first, who's mm-hmm. lunging first. But he was, like, throwing these fire spells that have, like, the weird timing. Like, yeah. he summons them, and then it's, like... I hate those. It's, like, ah. But it was, like, every second. And we were just kind of going back and forth, again, playing that game. That game of chess. Yeah. Um, Dude, the developers are no probably... Opening. The developers programming those fucking attacks are probably just laughing while doing it. Well, They're going to hate this shit. I was thinking about that earlier. <laughs> I'm like, all right, when you create these, like, obviously, it's easy to just create this, like, OP boss that, you know, will fucking kill anybody. But, like, how do you balance that? Like, who's game testing? You know, to where it's like, hey, we got... I know, yeah. We got uh, Carl. Carl's really fucking good at these games. We got Jimmy and Billy. Um, Jimmy's, he's decent. Billy sucks ass. Carl beat it first try. It took Billy and Jimmy 30 tries. Like, how do you figure out where the balance is, know. you know? Do you have to have, like... <clears throat> or maybe it's just, like, is Carl, he who's really good. He beats it once. They're like, man, balanced. Yeah, balanced. Seriously, it's like, uh <laughs> It's is, possible. They're just wondering, like, hey, I know he just beat you 50 times, but is it beatable? You think you can beat him with enough tries? All right, we're going to pass him. <laughs> I just wonder. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. But I guess that's why they eventually do have to have updates to like nerf this guy yeah. or buff this guy. Because we beat Radon pre-nerf, and apparently he was like one of the hardest in all the games. Again, New Game Plus, I Even, guess, uh, post-nerf. I want to say second M- try. Millennia got nerfed too after we had beat her. See, someone like Millennia that's, like, optional, I don't think you should nerf Millennia. Yeah. Like, she has that title. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's, Light like, of hardest, you know, like, Elden Ring base game boss that you beat second try. <laughs> yeah. Do doom. It took... Each wave was, like, three Ingobungas. Literally. That's how we measure it. The, the thing about it, though, that made it so easy is that she actually gets poised damage. So, like, she'll fucking... Ugh. Stagger every time I hit her. That and, and there's Mesmer was not doing that. I know, just like uh, Mesmer. If I didn't use, because you didn't even use any summons, you're no. doing like a no summon run. Yeah, but that was the, that was my openings. Was when I had the summon that miraculously got the aggro because mm-hmm. they never fucking get the aggro. Um, and that's my opening to heal or to get like two attacks in. Yeah, but with Millennia. She has that one flurry combo, but other than that, there's openings. Yeah. Like, it felt more fair. Yeah. Like, that was fun. Like, that was difficult, but fun. And the flurry, although it did a lot of damage, it's not going to... Usually won't one-shot you, because you can at least dodge some of them. Yeah. Um, the unfortunate part about that is if she fucking heals during her fight. <laughs> Which is, like, good balance. Yeah. Like, you can get through this. This isn't and it always honestly, going to kill you, but it's going to heal me a little bit. Yeah. It's going to throw you off. And it kind of takes away... Even if you did use a, um, uh, like an ash, an summon. ash, it kind of takes it away because she can heal off of that too. Yes. So it's very yes. devastating. So it's like it's like give and take. Yeah. What do you want to do here? Pretty much. You know. Um. But again, great example there of having the difficulty, but with the balance, it's still being fun. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Again, going back to Mesmer, it's like, oh my gosh, like I just want to get through this shit. I don't even want to fight this fucker anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Very exciting stuff. He's not even the hardest. He's number two. Yeah. So I had that spoiled for me last night. I got it spoiled. Who number one is? Right after the shit came out. Damn. Yeah, honestly. I've seen the clip. The clip was sick, though. I was kind of disappointed when I found out, but honestly, I don't really care that much. If you know. I was like really into the lore and yeah, just like if followed I knew it the about the lore, time, oh, then, I'd be pissed. Yeah, yeah, I'd be very upset. Yeah, I think after I beat this, I'll definitely do a deep dive into the lore. Finally, probably. All I think of it. It'd be fun. Yeah. All of it. Yeah. 
just have that. If, if, if people even know it. Uh, well, <laughs> you know? Well, I think a lot of it, people know, <laughs> but a lot of it is like interpretation. Yeah, exactly. Together. I think this, this based off this, you know? George R. R. Martin's going to do an interview. That's not how I wrote it. I wonder, I don't remember what it was, maybe an interview or just like, maybe it was verbatim, like w- what he was saying or something about it, but I think he just established some world building. Like, yeah, I don't even know if he really had his hand in it like a lot of us were thinking. No, I don't even know if fucking, yeah, he didn't do much from what I've read. I, it was probably marketing for the Western audience. Maybe, Just like, yeah. hey, George R. R. Martin, y'all are which, all obsessed with Game of is, Thrones. It's fucking awesome, though. I it mean, is. No, it's fucking sick. I can, I can see some of his influence for sure. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Miyazaki has always had some crazy fucking shit. Yeah. Yeah, I love the just the design and all the souls likes. What the fuck is it? Soulsborn? I guess I think is Soulsborn. His but I mean, at that word. point, there's Elden Ring and Sekiro. So, like, yeah. what do you call it? Yeah. I mean, they're all kind of the same. Anything he's dipped his hands into. Yep. Blip, boop. But uh, <clears throat> what, um, what areas that you've gone to have, like, been your favorite aside from that first place? Um... I mean, honestly, the the Shadow Keep is not bad. It's when you get to that library area where it's just like a tower. Yeah, yeah. With all the the Mesmer elite knights. Mm-hmm. Um, that's when it got pretty bad and like, ah, just get me through this. But the rest of that's really well done. Um, I love that all of the Cerulean Coast area. Yeah, that's really pretty. That's a really pretty area. And I just feel like it's pretty the balanced. The atmosphere is pretty sick. Um, I love that Fisher area going down to where the putrescent night is. Mm-hmm. Um, I really haven't. Oh, west of the Shadow Keep, you get to that kind of jungly area. I that haven't actually cool. explored that yet. That's a pretty cool area. Um, because that's where, yeah, that's where I fought that that butterfly chick. Mm-hmm. Um, she was really cool. Like that was another boss where I was like. Uh, gave me a little bit of trouble, but it was still fun and fair. Um, you'll have no issues with her. <laughs> None. Does she? Did you stagger her at all? Oh yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like she was like, for running the, because I think at that point I was still running Moonvale, mm-hmm. and I was surprisingly staggering her pretty often. Oh wow. So yeah, I'm I'm thinking you get one hit in. Yeah. Or I guess maybe two. <laughs> um. Let's be real. Do you one ever do you ever just like swing one? Um, if I need like a little of a faster hit, yeah. Mm. But she yeah, usually stick to the L one. Maybe even one would do it, but yeah, no, she's easily staggered. So I don't think she'll be an issue for you. Yeah. Um, but visually, like an that was a cool boss fight. looking boss. Oh, yeah. dude, it was awesome. Like the fucking, I don't know what it is about like the rot and the flat, the butterflies, but yeah. like that's just so cool. And the, yeah, yeah, she had that like spinning because she has like the two tails almost. It's like a, she has, a, like, a, a scorpion a, stinger and then a centipede. Yeah, but like she, she like wraps it in a certain way to make it look like a vortex, and she's like flying at the same time mm-hmm. doing some of those moves, and it looks really fucking sick. And then she'll like go into the air, and then there's like a stinger comes out. Shing! Oh, I don't think I've seen that one when yeah. you're playing. No, but I love when she kind of turns into the butterfly a little bit, and then the butterflies are released, and then they get dark, mm. and then it, like, explodes into, like, rot. Damn. Yeah. Now it was a really cool boss fight. How many attempts did that take you? I knew you were on it for a little while. I would say 10 max. I think okay. it was under 10, though. That's not bad. Yeah, it wasn't It wasn't too bad, because each time it was, like, making progress. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> that was the thing about Mesmer, man. Like, I, I think my first attempt... I got him into a second phase. The next 10, probably didn't even touch it. I know. I mean, honestly, the furthest I got Mesmer was that very first try. Yeah, you I was just surprised. Because kind of like, you got him right, I think, one more damage, and he would have been in second phase because yeah. you were like halfway marked. Um, that's the thing about him, though. His halfway point is his second phase. So you don't have to deplete that whole bar before his second phase. Which is nice. Yes, that was a... 
yeah, I was glad to learn that my first time. I was like, oh, fuck, I've heard about this guy. <laughs> and it's funny because, like, the dancing lion, it's like, hey, we'll give you a, an NPC to summon. You can you can fight with them. The uh, the butterfly chick, hey, we'll give you an NPC. Mesmer is like, nah, um, you're doing this shit alone. You can, you can summon one, but you have to do their quest line. Oh, well, I will immediately look that up. <laughs> Who is it? Who helps you? Um, I think there's a couple, like Horn Scent, I think is one. I think maybe Tollier, which, uh, sorry to say, <laughs> but... Oh, did I fuck that one up? <laughs> that oh, I killed the, that person. That was the St. Trina's chick, yeah. Ah. I want to say... So you have options... Oh, so you have to do that first and then the St. Trina? Yeah, because if you read... Actually, I don't know. It depends on if you've met... Have you met Lita? L-E-D-A? Night Lita? I'm I'm pretty sure that sounds really familiar. Okay, if you yeah, talk yeah, yeah. to her, like her whole thing is like it's either like killing or protecting Mikola, and like obviously Mesmer is thrown in there in some facet, mm-hmm. and then she, I think the runes break when the runes break. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's when she kind of like flips, and she's like, "We have to go. We have to kill um, Horn Scent or Talia or something." So then there's like a whole quest line with one of them. I can't remember because I looked up one of the quest lines and it was saying a whole bunch of mumble jumble. Mm-hmm. So, well, that's definitely one I'll have to uh, look into because yeah. I could use some help. Yeah, for sure. So I probably fucked that quest line up in some capacity. <laughs> that's no crazy idea. though, right? Like <clears throat> someone who is like looking into it, looking up things, and you still like fuck yeah. something up. Yeah, like that's it's so, so easy nutty. in those games. Yeah, like my first run through in Elden Ring, I looked so much shit up, just because I wanted to follow a complete quest line. Because you can go through that game and not complete an entire quest line. It's like very easy. Yeah, yeah. It's just fucking insane. So it's such a long game if you do everything. So you can still to. look up um, how to do things correctly, but if you get the order of yeah. when things are done yeah. wrong. Then you fucked up one. Yeah, because that's why I was telling you about the St. Trina thing last night. I was like, you might want to do this before the whole Mesmer thing so that you can kind of follow in line with doing this next. And that's know? why Colton immediately went to do the St. Trina quest. Literally. So he yeah. was like, fuck, I may have already fucked it up. And that's just a quest that we know about. I'm sure there's so many more that we have no idea about. I know. Just in this DLC. Yeah, by the time that I'm have beat Radon again, I'm sure I would have yeah. I missed out on fifteen percent of the DLC just because yeah. it's quest lines I've I've fucked up. So and with that, you just miss out on like really good armors, you know, relics, whatever it may be, talismans. Yeah. And but in a way, it's like, hey, come on, keep playing the game. Just restart it again. Go through it again. And uh maybe for some people that's cool, but I like to play different games. <laughs> yeah. I've never I've never been like a new game plus kind of guy. Unless I'm, you know, still in the mood to play that game. But it's usually not often because doing the same thing over and over over again doesn't like appeal to me usually. Um, because you're doing that in the game anyway when you're dying to bosses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I think the only reason I did the new game plus I think Colton had did it, so I was like, Yeah, let me try it. I've never done a new game plus before. Oh. And I was, um, I think I was wanting to, uh, like co-op, see, see if, yeah, co-op and yeah. see if anything was like different. That would be fun. Like any new if, bosses, but only in new game plus. Or I would be oh. interested if, um, that, uh, one co-op oh, mod co-op? that we did, seamless uh, co-op, yeah. if it's compatible with the DLC, I'd probably be interested in that. Did you send me that one article? Where it was talking about the game developers are like really impressed with how well seamless co op is working and that they're thinking of like looking into that for like future, you know, games. Uh maybe. I seen something about it. I can't it. remember. Yeah. I don't it remember was pretty it much really. like, hey, the people that made Elden Ring seen this mod and are impressed. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this is a game that has functionality for co op, but it fucking sucks. Yeah. It's awful because you either have the summon option or you can only be in this one vicinity. And if you die, you have to do it all. You have to be summoned and it takes like five minutes to do that shit. Yeah, it is kind of annoying. 
even summoning someone, if you aren't jumping right on the summon, it's immediately un- unavailable. Yeah. You're not able to summon them. And I'm sure it's kind of hard with the, you know, how intense these games are with like, um, I don't even know the technicalities in it, but the, uh, fuck. Uh, it was on the tip of my tongue. But the way that the online works, like when it's PvP, there's so much lag sometimes that it's like you'll get backstabbed with the dude right in front of you. Yeah. And you're like, what the, wh- huh? Yeah, seriously. Yeah. So the PvP in that game is fucking awful sometimes. But sometimes it's really fun. Um, I've just never been a fan to really delve into it that much. No. Especially <laughs> people are just cheesing the same builds every time. For real. Like some dude invaded me and he was using a fucking great shield and throwing pots. Oh, just trolling. That's yeah. fun for him. Yeah. All right. So what do you want to hit on before we uh we play a little game? Oh, okay. Um you're talking about PvP. Have you ever seen this is definitely for the base game, um, when I seen these videos. And I don't even know if this is like modded. But um, you'd see those PvP videos of, I don't know what weapon it is or what weapon Earth they're using, but they like somehow get into the air and they're just fucking like boosting in the air, flipping and oh, shit. Yeah. But yeah. you see like two of them doing that, fucking battling each other. There's some crazy weapon arts in that game that I've never even come across. I'm just like, yeah. the DLC's probably, those are the guys that are like, man, I beat this in five hours. I thought this was going to be a 30 hour <laughs> DLC. I know, right? They just devote their life to this. Oh my gosh, fighting Mesmer just fucking hasn't even hit the floor yet, just fucking beaming him from the sky. There was a, um, I think I was watching Kai Sinat's stream, and he was watching a guy that was max level. What is max level? 713. It's like when you have 99 and all the stats. Oh, oh yeah. I was wondering. Like so I think 713. It is random, yeah. But that like, makes sense, 99 yeah. and all the stats. Why um, didn't Colton just do that? Like what? I don't know. Like if you're gonna fucking cheese it and get level five hundred, just do the seven thirteen. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. But he was watching a guy at like max level and pretty much a veteran of the game. I think he did it all legit. He was new game plus seven, which is very hard in oh comparison God. to, you know, a new game or just base game. Right. Because that makes it seven times harder pretty much. But he was stuck on the last boss for forever. Hold yeah. on, the last DLC boss? Yes. Oh, shit. So, Damn. Um, I guess we can spoil it at this point. We're kind of at, at the pretty much the end of the podcast. All right, who but, the last boss is? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's fucking Gwen, dude. They brought <laughs> the multiverse into Elden Ring. It's all in the same universe. <laughs> No, um, it's uh if you don't know and you're watching this, it's um well you should know probably at this point, but it's Radon. Radon and Mikola. Yeah. Apparently. But I mean mainly Radon, but I think maybe Mikola has some type of attack that she does. Maybe I think yeah. Mikola kinda comes into it the second wave. Yeah, I haven't really watched it in depth, but yeah, apparently which was spoiled for me on a fucking Facebook post of all things. A Facebook comment. It was yeah. like, oh, I'm, I'm disappointed that the last boss is Radon, which I don't know how that's disappointing because I think that's cool as fuck. Just base lore of what I do kind of know, mm-hmm. which isn't much at all. Like, I couldn't even explain it to you. But I do know that Radon and like Millennia, Mesmer, they're all like key components to the lore, especially with like Merica and all that shit. Uh, but I do, I think it was, there was like a, uh, the Great War with like Radon and Millennia and all that shit. Aren't they brother and sister? Is that right? I don't even know. Like I said, I don't know much about it, but mm. yeah, uh, maybe because it's either. I think it's. Aren't they like America's kids or something? Oh, possibly. I, I really don't know. I really don't know. I think um, Mikola is Mesmer's mom. Oh, maybe it's... Or maybe it's Merica. Because Mikola... Because Melania is the blade of Mikola? Yeah. Um, 
Maybe maybe they're related. Maybe Merica is the mother of Millennia and Mesmer. Perhaps we're done. I have no fu- honestly, I dude, I gotta fucking look this shit up. Yeah. I gotta yeah. finally delve into the lore. I can't remember if I was saying this on or off air about like what I would love is <clears throat> someone who's like really good at the game. Just it's like maybe a twenty hour total. Uh, I mean, gosh, maybe at this point like forty hour <laughs> total. Um, just play through. Yeah. But they're just fucking making these bosses look like nothing. They're just badasses. But the whole time there's like commentary in the background going over the lore in like real time. Yeah. Like that would be, that'd be fucking awesome. That would be awesome. I would awesome. love to watch that shit and get the lore that way. Mm-hmm. They've done the nitty gritty work. They've pieced it together. They've put the thousand plus hours into this game. Yeah, no, that would be uh, pretty captivating. Yeah. And what's that one guy, Vati? Oh, yeah. Vati Vidya. I know he does yeah. a pretty good job um, of doing the uh, the research and digging and putting the hours in and piecing things together. Yeah. Um, so uh, I have to check out, um, see if he's already put something out. Yeah, maybe. On the it's DLC. quite possible. A lot of those people are fucking, they're all in it, man. Yeah. Fucking, I mean, you know, with like Austin John plays, he's like, got to go through the game, got to fucking get all the information. Oh, man. Yeah. And kudos to just people like that that yeah. can still have fun with it. Yeah. Well, I know, mean, it is when it becomes pretty work. much their full time job. So, but at that point, it kind of yeah. takes you out of it, like the fun aspect. You know? Oh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. To still have fun with it and yeah. then just uh, got to rush this video out. Mm hmm. You know, because no time uh, to really enjoy Austin John. He'll 30 minutes after a fucking Nintendo Direct, he's got content. Mm-hmm. Out, yeah. Going over it. So nutty. You know, that man relies on some AI editing. <laughs> Come yeah, on, probably. Gotta get this shit together. Gotta be the first. Um, all right. So you said the very best. You said there was a game? Yes. So, um, I don't know if there's anything else I wanted to say. Um, I'm, sh- I'm sure we'll have more to talk about next week, for sure. Um, um, I hope so, because I start my graveyards. I don't really... I I, I may pick the game up um, tonight and mm-hmm. stay up a little bit playing that. I don't know how long I'll be at the hospital. But um, other than that, I don't really know if I'll have many opportunities. Yeah. So I'll be working graveyard 12s and shit. Yeah. But either way, I'll, we'll, we'll have more to say. But as far as right now... You know, I wanted to kind of get the, I guess, the shit talking um, out early. <laughs> and uh, There was a lot of it on this episode. Well, I feel but like it, I just have way. that to say in general. Yeah, That's not even just towards the DLC. A yeah. lot of that is just in general with Video FromSoft games. games. And, yeah. yeah, FromSoft in particular. Yeah. But I've really seen it with this DLC since, you know, I'm literally playing it. Um, well, right now. Um, but, like... <sighs> It does have a weird draw to it, like yeah. with fun. It's like one second, almost in the same breath, I can just be like, dude, this is fuck this game. Yeah. And then also, this is fucking awesome. Yeah, especially if you land that final blow in the boss and you see the fucking soul just come out and you're like, dude, I got a chub. Yeah. <laughs> At least a quarter chub. Yeah. Um, but it's very. Uh, God, I don't even know how to explain it. You just feel so proud of yourself when you defeat a boss that's so fucking hard and annoying. But, like, what's fun for me, and I love, like, the different bosses, like, seeing that, uh, I already forgot, what have we been calling it? The dancing line? The dancing line, yeah. Yeah, the dancing line, like, seeing that and getting there and that, like, cut scene, I'm like, ooh, chills, like, Mm -hmm. this is cool. But I love, like, getting there. That's what's, I guess, the most fun for me is like, all right, Grace, going through these people, going through these people. Um, I'm up to like three more potions. Oh, there's Grace in the background. You know, I make my way there. Like, yeah. that's fun for me, that exploration and like finding things. And But when I'm just stuck on like a boss like Mesmer, that's when I'm just, I kind of lose it a little bit. So I have been, it's been very enjoyable. It's fun. But after a few hours, if I'm not, like, taking breaks and going to explore, but if I'm just fucking trying to get past this boss, mm-hmm. I, I definitely lose it very quickly. Yeah. And then I'm just like, why am I, 
wasting three of my hours doing this in my day. Like yeah. I could totally be doing some other shit right now. Very true. So it's fun. Um, again, haven't beat it. It's not fair to give it like a final review score, obviously. But based off what I've seen, I don't know. And I know it's going to get harder. I don't know if I'm, you know, also giving it a 10 out of 10. Because this is apparently the highest reviewed DLC ever. Yeah. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't know about a 10 out of 10. There's just a, find myself just wandering a lot and just, yeah, pretty much just wandering a lot in like open area that doesn't really have much in it. Or at least at the time, maybe it does eventually, you know. Yeah, but. and maybe if I understood more about the lore, these areas and like why they're that way or why they're in that state would make more sense and it'd be more interesting. And I love that there's a lot of area to explore. Like I love, you know, yeah. we love how big this map is. Yeah, for how sure. much you get for 40 bucks. Like this is a $40 DLC and majority of games don't even give you this much content. Yeah. Um. So I love that. But yeah. when I just... just you know, we play games to have fun, Yeah, you know? I'm not and a fan of, like, aimlessly wandering. I at least want there to be an item of some importance along the way. Right, right. Um, like, fucking give me a hefty pot or something. Like <laughs> Something I could make use of. For example, um, so that Cerulean Coast, again, very beautiful. It's fun to explore that area. I feel like it's just perfectly balanced and just yeah. scattered with things and, like, somewhat tough tough enemies, easy enemies, it's good balance. But then you make your way to the beach, there's the hands, and then you make your way to that fucking finger area, and it's like, there's nothing fun about that spot. There's nothing fun about this area, and it's fucking huge. There's nothing fun about it, and there's nothing there. Yeah. Except for the one point that you have to be in. You have hands, and you have those fucking eel creatures Yeah. that are annoying as shit. A lot of annoying enemies. (laughs) It's quite a bit, yeah. Yeah. Um, but as far as right now, if I'm to give it like a, Hey, your first 20 hour review score, Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's like eight. It's like sitting, sitting at like an eight right now. I almost went seven and a half, but I'm like, no, I mean, it is good. It's, but it's at an eight. I'd personally give it a nine. Probably. I don't find too much. Uh, I mean, it's a Soulsborne game. It's going to be annoying. It's going to be hard. It's going to be, you know, all the things in that category. Uh, but the sheer size of it alone is fucking impressive. Very. Um, which is crazy that people say it's, like, small. It's fucking DLC. Like, m- a lot of base games are not as big as this DLC is. Oh, that's what I'm, like, yeah, yeah, that's what fucking I'm saying. Fucking The Last of Us. Smaller than this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know I what mean, I mean? Yeah, you can beat that game in like 12 hours. Yeah. You know? It's fucking crazy. Yeah, it's just a massive yeah. world. So a lot of love put into it. But yeah, I'd, I'd give it a solid nine for sure. Yeah, no, that's fair. And again, part of uh, my problem is I probably just need to look into, you know, a different build and maybe I'll have an easier time getting through some bosses. I do know there's some fucking OPS weapons in this DLC. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just, at least at the moment, and maybe it's because of the build I have, I'm just having a hard time. Um, just just having a good time, I guess I could say. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hours in, I'm like, wait, why am I why am I still doing this? Like, I'm not even really enjoying this. I could, play, I could be playing Kirby right now. I know. <laughs> is, is it time for some Mario? Uh, maybe not Mario, because Mario's fucking hard, too. But yeah, Kirby. Kirby, for sure. Those games are pretty easy. Yeah. Um. But yeah, no. Still still very solid. Still very solid. So yeah, Shadow of the Air Tree. Good DLC. And will make you want to uh, break a fucking controller. So, let's uh, let's do this little game. It's very easy. I came up came up with this while you were in the bathroom, actually. Really? I did. Yeah, I wasn't gone for that long. I know you had a minute to come up with this. <laughs> Literally, okay. um, trivia. Kind of. Uh, so, 
is this a from soft boss like a dark souls or elden ring okay um or sekiro okay or bloodborne okay um is this a uh is this a soulsborne boss or is this just a randomly generated name? Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yes. Will I, do you think I'll, will, in, will I just automatically know any of these? Um, Am I familiar with any of them? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think okay. you'll be familiar with some of them. All right. Dragon Slayer Armor. Dragon Slayer Armor? Yeah. So it can also be. Like, could you be tricking me and it's like, hey, this isn't a boss. This is actually an item in the game. These are all going to be bosses. All right. So either a boss or an actual name. Like, you're not going to trick me with like, hey, that's not a boss. This is an actual item. No items. Okay. It, they're okay. all just going to be boss names. Okay. Um, Or generated names. You know. I'm going to say that's a boss. That is a boss. Okay. So you fight like living armor? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's a dude, but it's his fucking just ar- pretty much just all hollow. Armor. It's just armor. It's huge. Okay. Um. All right. Ceaseless discharge. That's generated. That's a boss. As a boss. That's a boss. Ew. All right. That just sounds nasty. Yeah. What how, do you uh do we know which game that's from? Mm. Ceaseless discharge. Where are you? Where is this coming from? Google. Oh, are you just looking up like? I random? think this is from the actual Dark Souls one. Oh, okay. That one. That one is. <clears throat> All right. Um, one one. Odorous Archdemon of the Boreal Valley. Uh, I've heard that term Boreal Valley before. Odorless Archdemon. Odorous. Adorus, yeah. Archdemon. Ah, uh, I'm trying to think. I've heard of that. Or is it Archdemon? I've always said like Archdemon, yeah. like Archfiend. Yeah, Archfiend. it doesn't really matter, I guess. Yeah. Well, I learned that G A O L is actually Jail. Yeah. I always thought it was like Gal or Gale. Ga- Gale. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna say, ah, oh, shit, that's a boss. Generated. Damn it. They took that second part, though. They did, yeah. Um, Capra Demon. Capra Demon. Uh, that's a boss. That's a boss. Okay. Dark Souls 1. Very annoying. I remember this boss. It has, like, a fucking uh, big, like, meat cleaver sword, almost. And it's Oh, is that the first boss that's supposed to kill you? No, 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 no. No, that's oh, because I uh, thought that one had like a giant cleaver too. Very different. Uh, it might actually, but this one's guarded. Or you enter and it has two dogs with it. It's so fucking annoying. Ah, yeah, could dogs be more dogs, but I'll, at least two. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Lost Angel. That's got to be generated. That's a generated. Okay, I was gonna say that's too simple. All right, Great Gray Wolf Sith. Oh, that's got to be um, an actual boss. That's yeah. a boss. Okay, because I know Sif, but I didn't know yeah, if the like the name. other stuff was generated to confuse me. Okay, chosen paladin. Um, generated. That's generated. Okay. Ding, ding. Yeah, you got it. It was a guess. Okay, that's good to learn knowledge. All right, insane throne watcher. Insane throne watcher. Generated. That's generated. Okay. Okay. Seath the Scaleless. That's a boss. That's a boss. You yeah. remember that boss? Mm-mm. He's like the sad dragon in like this dungeon. Uh, he's like, what game? He has uh, Dark Souls 3, I believe. Is it early enough that I've probably beaten him? Uh, no. I want to say it's later. Hmm. But he has like a baby and it's like crying. Mm-mm. I do not recall that. Kind of Mm-mm. creepy. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let's see. We have Slave Knight Gale. Uh, that sounds like a boss. I'm going with boss. It's a boss. Okay. Okay. 
Next we have Marked Master of Funerals. That's got to be generated. Yeah, that's generated. <laughs> You're doing pretty like, good. It's like, okay, that would have been a really weird one. What does that guy look like? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you have Crossbreed Priscilla. And it's crossbreed, not like crossbred. Crossbreed, yeah. Mm, generated. That's a boss. Ah. Okay. Chaos abandoned of justice. Chaos abandoned of justice? Abandoned. Abandoned justice. Of uh, justice. That just sounds random and cheesy. That's generated. That's generated. Okay. All right. Fearless missionary. Ah, uh, that also sounds generated. That's generated. Okay. <laughs> Fearless missionary. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that a sex move? I would refuse <laughs> that too. My <laughs> mind went elsewhere, but <laughs> oh, like a. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking I refuse like to kill him. Something? Oh, yeah. All right. Bed of chaos. Bed. Yeah. Oh gosh. Please tell me it's generated. That's real. Dark Souls oh 1. Oh my gosh. The bed of chaos? It's a boss? Yeah. Jeez. Like, a bed is just kind of like a spread, I guess. You know? Uh, I mean, yeah. That's true. I definitely was going to, like, furniture. <clears throat> my mind went to furniture. <laughs> <laughs> um, Violent beast. Violent beast? Um, I mean, that definitely could be a boss, but I feel like there would be more. I'm going to say generated. Generated. All like right. it would be Violent Beast Moog or, or something. Like he'd have a name other than um, just Violent Beast. You never Beast. know. So, I mean, I bought a, bought a boss yesterday called Lamenter. Lamenter? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of lame. Yeah. Um. All right. Iron Golem. Um. That's a boss. That is a boss. Um. That sounds like something I've fought before. <laughs> probably. All right. Ancient Wyvern. Mm, as a boss that's a boss okay all right crystal sage that's a boss that's a boss all right old father of the brave oh man that could definitely go old father father of the brave oh that's a boss that's generated, generated. Ah. <laughs> All right, we'll do one more. It, it would have been old father of the brave Demetrius or something. That's <laughs> when I would have known. All right. Um, Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. <laughs> um, Gwyn. Okay, just making sure they're, it's not like a trick one and that one's just too easy, but you change something on me. That is a real boss. That's a real That's boss. DLC, Dark Souls 3 boss? Uh, Dark Souls one actually, I think. Oh, is it? I want to say Lord of Cinder. Yeah, he was the last boss in in the first one. In the first one, yeah, yeah, because the uh, what the fuck's the last ones? Really? Dark the Souls three. I could have swore the in that isn't Gwen the doom doom doom. Yeah, that's Dark Souls one. Is it? Yeah, but they use like some of that song in Dark Souls three. Last boss. There's like uh, portions of it that are similar. Mm-hmm. Because he is also a Lord of Cinder, I think. Can't remember. Okay. Been a while. Um, Okay. This will be the last one. Okay. Because it's good. Gaping Dragon. Oh, God. That's a real boss. That's a real boss. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. All right. Good note to end on. I don't know my score, but I'm pretty sure I passed. I think so, yeah. Yeah, you did pretty good. Cool. Yeah, definitely some weird ass names in there. Have I earned the title of Elden Lord? Oh yeah, you got that fucking two years ago. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for acknowledging. <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah, I mean that'll do it for episode eighty seven, I believe. Yeah. I mean honestly, now that I think about it, like if I don't end up beating the DLC, like who cares? I'm already an Elden Lord. Like I've I'm good. You gotta beat it, dude. Dude, I'm good. Dude. Bro, this will be your bro, game. The bro, year. why do I need to beat him again? I've already beat him. You never beat the... I yeah. beat... Okay, you beat the I Elden beat Lord. No, no, I'm saying 
I don't need to fight Radom again. <sighs> One and done. No, you can, you've done it One twice, done. actually. I've done it twice. Exactly. <laughs> One and done. The second time was even easier. I don't need to beat you a third time, bro. Bro, take the L. Hold me back, bro. <laughs> take the L <laughs> and be gone. Uh, you got a point. Yeah. You can stay here in the, the shadow realm, your shadow land. I'm going to the castle. In the shadow of the Erd tree. Yeah. I'm going to where it's always golden. True. You stay in your fucking little playland with your false deity. Yeah, your little emo fire boy. You can have him. <laughs> yeah. I don't need him. <laughs> oh, look at me. I have a snake. Mm. I have a snake. Here's fire. I actually don't like fire. <laughs> I'm weak to it. Uh, yeah. Isn't he weak to fire? Probably. I don't know. He's weak to bonk. I thought that was like part of the lore or something. Like he engulfed the land in fire, but he was like terrified of it or something. Maybe. Something like that. I don't know. But um, yeah, that's been episode 87. Shadow of the Earth Tree. Um, yeah, pretty good stuff. Like, subscribe, and, you know, rate us. Ooh, um, also, next episode, we should come to this prepared, talking about um, the DLC again, but it's wrong answers only. We're just given false lore information. Dude. <laughs> but we just come up with our own shit and okay. how things are kind of tied together. <laughs> so Gwen, the Lord of Sender, the main character, he travels through the... Uh, I don't know. I have to study some Sicaro and uh, Bloodborne yeah, and just fucking yeah. infuse it all. <laughs> the Hunter Moons. And then I Pinocchio comes out and he's got a fucking saw. Oh man, Lies of P in yeah, this dude. shit too? And oh then my gosh. The Underworld gets flipped. Lords of the Fallen. Oh, that's what I was thinking. I was trying to think of... <laughs> I don't know what they I was thinking it, of like the, the other the, dimension. The band uh, for the Fallen Dreams. That's the only yeah. thing that came to mind. I was like, what is that game? What is Funny that game? enough, Bless the Falls coming to Richmond. In like a few months. I didn't even know they were still touring and shit. Um, yeah, I haven't listened to them in a long ass time. Yeah, me too. I never really got into them. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, that'd be a, a funny idea. That would be funny. Yeah. It's just wrong information. We just like fuck people up. <laughs> we just don't. Other than this, which people aren't going to hear. Like True. they don't know we're going into it with just like the the worst information. But we make it sound so believable. Yeah. You know, like this is our interpretation, but like it has to be this way because this happened. And it wouldn't make sense for that to happen if this wasn't true. We'll just fuck people up. Yeah, we'll reverse everything that's ever yeah. been created. Radon is actually a living embodiment of the stars. Yeah. Radon <laughs> gave birth to the furnace golems. Think about it. Think about it. Radon is just. Scarlet rot in human form. Yeah. I don't know. I'm <laughs> just coming up with shit at this point. Um, <laughs> sorry. Borderline cringe. Um, yeah. Episode 87. Peace. See you next week for 88. 12 away from 100. Ooh, that's three months. Hmm, pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. And by the way, Chris shit his pants.